Welcome duelists, casual duelist here with my wife. Hi guys, it's Celestial. And what do we got for him today, Celestial? Well, it's finally been out. It's finally been released. It is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel GX series. All right, guys. So as she so awfully dragged out, uh, yesterday on April 1st, which I was assuming was going to be another April Fool's prank on us, I was expecting that this set was going to be pushed back eh, one more time. Because, you know, what, third time is a charm, right? But we finally got the Speed Duel Academy box. Now, this one has already been open. She has stripped everything out of it. She has given me these. She says these are to remain face down until... Till... Um, till I open them. Oh, you're going to open them? Sure. Oh, okay. So she's going to open these. <laughs> um, so she's seen a little bit of what's in the set. Uh, I kept myself willfully ignorant of what's in the set, so I'm going to find out while I'm doing this video. So I'm not allowed to look at these, but these are going to be what? Secret rares, very similar to last set? Yes. All right, so Dual Academy box, eight different decks, very cool. I'm loving this. So anybody who's gonna use these as like little long boxes to put your actual decks in, this is gonna be a wonderful thing for you. Um, on the back, it goes into a little bit of, uh, a little bit of spoiler mode. So, all right, well, hopefully we can pull some of these Dons of Lukes, because I didn't have these yet, but those are some of the secret rare upgrades. Uh, kind of weird the Dons of Luke would be in this. Um, obviously, some brand new 20 skills. What do we got for the brand new skills? We've got clear sleeves, guys, uh, because, you know, you want to see both sides. Um, and it looks like we got a breakdown for who the decks are going to be. It's going to be Jaden, Aster, Chaz, uh, Crowler, Alexis, Jesse, Zane, and Axel Brody. Um, and of course it's gonna have their skills and what the deck is so you know George and Steve on our team are gonna be super excited to see not only just the elemental heroes uh, but the cyber dragons and the ojamas to be sure so I you have a box ready for me to open hun yes I do all right let me get that okay so this one's got some stuff in it you already took the plastic off because you're an amazing person absolutely first things first these are gonna be our place uh, our play mats uh, we will explore this another time. I already saw that. I'm opening it. You know what? <laughs> I get this one. That's fine. And this one's got a uh, volcanic rocket, so that's going to be fun. So, is this all just placeholder right here? It yes. is? Okay. Just cardboard. So, almost made it to the garbage can across the basement. Yeah. All right. So, right there, we got Avion. So, and, and again, for anybody who's out there playing the uh, the Common Charity... This will be a good pickup for you as well because these cards will be legal in common charity as well. Um, just looking for the little perforation bits. That one did not tear gracefully. <laughs> no, this is this is going to be a bit of an act. I am just murdering this. Do you want to get the other one started? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness, guys. I would recommend having maybe a small pocket knife uh, to just gently like take off the edges maybe and don't be statically charged like I am right now. So real quick, we got Avion, Burstinatrix, Clay, Spark, Goddess with the Third Eye, Wing Kribo, Rottweiler. This, this screams like it's a deck. Um, but real quick, this is looking great. Um, this reminds me of a Solidarity Hero build I used to play. Um, but without Prisma. Polymerizations, extra copies, Fusion Sage, Rota, Skyscraper. So it looks like I don't need 100% of this set. Uh, because I will already have a lot of this. But so far, every one of these cards is 100% legal in common charity. So this is cool. Uh, two Malicious per box means I'm going to end up with six. So I will have Destiny Hero Maliciouses for my common charity. Uh, just because I do keep everything separated. Nightbeam got the reprint. There's another card I don't have to go out and buy on. Look at that. Budget skills. Woohoo! Real excited for that. Ujama Yellow, Ujama Green, Ujama Black. Again, we did kind of see the Ujama King uh, very early on. Chiron the Mage, great pick. Uh, armed through uh, 3, 5, and 7. There's W. Ojama Red and Blue, so that's all the Ojamas in the main deck minus Pink. 
Another copy Polymerization, Delta Hurricane, Uja Magic, Uja Match, Tri White, actually good card, great card. So this is very cool. You got another stack for me? Yep. Let's have it. Oh, there you go. All right. So right here, we're going to have some Ancient Gears. Mechanical Chaser. This would be great for all of our vanilla builds, especially our vanilla machines. Yeah. Uh, because it's going to be an 1850. And again, dark means we can use our Allure of Darkness. So I think Spellproof Armor is going to get like just an, an extra little buff here. We've got the Koichi. That's going to be amazing. Uh, well, amazing, amusing. Because you're either going to use him for a draw two on the Allure or you'll flip him for his own effect of a draw one. Get the Earthquake. Gear Town. So, do we have magical hats? Do you remember if we had magical hats? I don't remember. That's usually a... I, well, get, I'd if we have later. magical hats, we can do that old backyard kind of kid play that we used to do back in, like, whenever Gear Town originated. And we'll be able to, to make those plays happen. Statue of the Wicked, very cool. This is probably the one... This is probably Alexis's cards. Blade Skater. Extra copies to send you in Sonic Bird. Again, if you guys didn't have these from the, uh, I think it was the Millennium Match, Yugi versus Pegasus uh, double structure, or the original Super Slash Ultra Rares, uh, it's a great reprint to have. And if you guys are more than a playset player, these are great cards to just stack up because this will allow you to play your Relinquish deck with your Thousand Eyes spell, as well as being able to play an Alexis Road. So I'm going to guess we're going to get some Cyber Angels here real quick. Actually, there they are. There's a Twall, Cyber Tutu, Cyber Gymnast, Cyber Prima, Benton, Adotin, and Azana. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Actually, a deck that you have there, Celestial. I do, actually. And I actually have more of their... Uh, more copies, Cosmic Cyclone, good card, great card. Uh, more of their fusions. So... You mean rituals? I don't yeah, think they rituals. had fusions. Yeah, that's what I meant, ritual. Sorry. Uh, how are we going to play this? Uh, there was a trap card. There was a trap card. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all seven gems. Mm -hmm. Crystal Seers. So again, I think this is actually going to save me a bunch of money having purchased a play set of this. Because again, this came out as a like a super rare originally. So that's, that's also going to help me. Crystal Promises. Release. So guys, I kind of wish we'd pushed back our Crystal Beast stuff. Jeezy Pete's. We got crystal cards here. There's... Yep. There's our Rainbow Gravity. If you have seven Crystal Beasts with different names on the field and or grave, special summon one ultimate crystal from the deck or graveyard, ignoring summoning conditions. <laughs> so that should allow us to play our Rainbow Dragon. Yep. So that's pretty awesome. All right. May I have another stack, please? Sure. Here's this stack. There it is. The Almighty Cyber Dragon. This is going to be one of our go-to tech cards, I promise you. Uh, we're going to have to do a semi spotlight. We're going to have to do an extra spotlight because I did pre-record some stuff, uh, going through the weekend. Uh, cause I didn't, I didn't actually know a hundred percent that we were going to get this because again, it had been pushed back a couple of times, but this is just awesome. Uh, we do get the hunter dragon, which is pretty cool. Uh, wait, that, that should mean we get cyber dark then. Uh, proto Phoenix. Yep. Horn, Edge, and Keel. So we're going to get the originals. We're going to get the Exploder Dragon. Not bad. Valley. Oh, we get Claw 2. No Cannon. Poly. So that's a third polymerization. So we're going to get like three play sets that I don't need. Mm -hmm. DD Capsule, Future Fusion, Overload, Cyber Dark Impact. Again, we just had the Cyber Strike uh, structure deck not that long ago. This would have been great to have had right around then too. Straight Flush, Cool Card, Memory Loss, Cybernetic Network. Or Cyber Network, sorry. Uh, Volcanic Doomfire, Blazing and Pachai, one of the other 1850 cards. So it looks like we're raising our attack cap on our vanillas. In Pachi, uh, with the 2100 defense. UFO, Spirit of Flames. So this, this really is going to be like a big volcanic deck, which is going to be pretty cool. There's our rocket, and then our foiled out rocket. <laughs> the Royal Firestorm Guards, the Sword Salamandra. Twister, Blaze Accelerator, Tri Blaze, Wildfire, Michizure. Michizure. This is a funny one, too. When a monster is sent from the field to your graveyard, even during the damage step, target a monster on the field and destroy it. That is pretty cool. So. Yeah, it like it's just one of those like haha -ha cards. Covering fire was really cool. It lets you add the attack points of another monster 
to your monster that's being attacked. Mm -hmm. So it was like a tag team, uh, you know, punch back. Firewall, kind of a cool trap. You got one more stack? Yep. All right. Whoa. So this this may be all of our extra deck stuff. So we get the Flame Wing Man, obviously. We got the Thunder Giant. Very cool. We got Rampart Blaster. We got Steam Healer. Dark Bright. Plasma Vice. Are you kidding me? This really is my one deck. Mm-hmm. So the, the Elemental Heroes got the full six different cards for their extra deck. Um, which means, again, that's maybe play sets all the way around. Destiny and Dragoon and Dangerous. Very cool. The Ojama King. Uh, very, very cool considering this can lock out an opponent in Speed Duel uh, by taking up all three of their zones. Uh, so we're going to have to build that. Uh, VW Tiger Catapult. Ojama Knight for the Partial Lock. Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. Very cool. Cyber Blader. <laughs> the Rainbow Overdragon. Are you kidding? All right. See, I knew there was cyber. a fusion for Cyber for the Cyber Ladies. Right there. Oh, yeah, okay. Later. Yeah, okay. We had an argument earlier, and by an argument, she means to say that she's a winner, and I'm not. Um, and I could not for the life of me remember that that card existed. So, you know what? Shake my hand. You win. 100%. Ouch. <laughs> Everybody knows now. Yep. Or the 10 people that are going to watch it. Yep. Cyber End. Uh, Chimera Tech Overdragon, cool. Cyber Dark Dragon. I'm really glad they held back and didn't put Cyber Twin in here. Yeah. Because that would have just been disgusting. Right. Uh, Hourglass of Life. Not sure why that's in here. Big Koala. Are you kidding? <gasps> Yay. Down Under Punch, baby. Moke, Mokey, Mokey. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Don Zalu, Common Reprint. Nice. So I don't even have to try to pull him in these the way that the back of the box said. Because it said eight secret rare upgrades. So I was just imagining it was somehow in the set and not just in the set. So that's great. That saves me the time of tracking those down. There's the Apprentice Magician. Uh, Day Kangaroo. Cool. Gyroid. Ooh. Hydro Get On. Very cool. Uh, Rainbow Yo. Dark Dragon. Yay. So we get to play the Darkness one. Black Brachio. Uh, Toon Ancient Gear Golem. Cool. Sphere Karibo again. Again, uh, original set, ultra rare, uh, Millennium Match or whatever. It was in, I want to say it was in the Yugi portion. I think so. Uh, because it was part of the, like, the Gaia theming. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, I, I ended up using it in Thousand Eyes Spell for Restrict because, or not Restrict, uh, Relinquished because I just love Relinquished. Yeah. Sounds like my dog is running around. Yeah. Awesome. We got the Master of Oz, a little down under punch monster, so maybe we'll have to make that. V through Z, Dragon Catapult Cannon, because I don't want to say all that. That's really cool. Book of Moon, nice little reprint. Fusion Weapon, this is going to make some really uh, interesting plays with Flame Wing Man. <laughs> the Moki Moki Smackdown, Crystal Beacon. We do get the Field Spell Ojama Country. All right. <laughs> Advanced Dark, also for our, like, <coughs> it was almost like the Rainbow Dark Dragon, but this was like when Bell like, possessed Jesse or whatever. Yep. Uh, we got Rising Energy, Justy Break. Justy Break crazy for vanilla decks and reprinted for the Floodgate Trap Hole. So that was all pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You got one more. So uh, let me see the 20 skills. There you are. Okay, so there's Jesse Possessed right there. Mm -hmm. You could have told me. Sorry. So, all right. I like let me, as a surprise. Let, let me flip them around, though. <laughs> so we got Jaden Yuki. Uh, here goes something. Sounds fun. Powerful group of guys. It must be for the Destiny Heroes. Aster Phoenix. There's the land of Ojamas. This will be our field spell if we want. Ancient Fusion for Crowler. Cyberblade Fusion for Alexis. Crystal Transcendus for Jesse. We got Dark Zane here. Forbidden Cyber Style Technique. Very cool. Blaze Ex uh, Accelerator Deployment. And I, I loved how they started like customizing their dual discs here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ended up watching the anime at all, but like you had the Gen 1 dual discs, which was all like. Uh, they would throw out like a frisbee on a chain, mm -hmm. and then it went to the, like the Gen Two. And that's what you saw during Battle City. Mm. Gen Three was like what they started with during GX, and they're sort of rounded. I don't know if anybody's holding it. Let me check the backs. I don't know if anybody's going to be uh, 
holding it on them, but it's sort of rounded. Mm -hmm. And then like his was almost like a, maybe like a pistol or a sawed off or something. Yeah. It, it was a little more aggressive, but then again, his play style was, I believe, burned. So right. kind of makes sense. This will be the uh, Blaze Accelerator deployment. We're going to have the skill card, the right hero for the job, looking into the future, armed and ready. So this must be for armed dragon then. Middle age max, angel, uh, sorry, machine angel ascension. Rainbow Crystal Collection, Cyber Dark Style, Volcanic Cannon. We do get a Bastion Misawa. And I, I'm kind of insane. Like, I think I saw the Hydro get on. Did we see the Oxy get on at all in there? No. Okay, so maybe we're going to get that. They have announced another set. Uh, and the way things have been going, we'll probably be experiencing that October, November, December quarter. Like the fourth quarter of the year. And... Uh, we should end up with his, uh, not just his like Aqua Dragon, Hydro Dragon, whatever it was called. Mm -hmm. um, but he also had like Carbonet on. He turned it into this crystal dragon called Hiazonryu. Uh so, He was really cool. He's sort of like Jaden's smart rival. So. We got Cyrus already wearing his Royal Yellows. Uh, I've got Dino DNA. That's Hassleberry. Hassleberry playing the dinos. He's really fun. And then consumed by darkness, which is technically a Ubel skill, even though it's Ubel as Jesse possessed. Uh, so you know we may eventually get like a Supreme King, Dark Jaden, Ubel hero deck too. So this is pretty well, cool. That could come in the fourth quarter because if you saw, we did get that. Well, we may get another one too because there were there were three series. Or three seasons, I believe, for the U.S. audience. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a fourth that was kind of gritty um, that I don't think ever got localized outside of Japan. Right. Um, where they basically fought the guy from The Matrix a whole bunch of times. Hmm. But uh, if, if it goes that way, we, we still may see like the Arcana deck and everything else jump in, too. That's true. So you said you get to open the two mystery face downs, right? Yes. And I want to open this one. Yep. Do you have some white sleeves ready for us? The answer is uh, yes, guys. Yes. So she got this aside for me. Um, and again, I'm not paid by Upper Deck or Ultra Pro or Upper Deck, I guess. But I'm not paid by Ultra Pro. It's just what I use. And since I do sleeve all of my collection moving forward, um, it was pertinent to get a whole bunch of sleeves. So these are not just the, uh, the white sleeves that I use for my Speed Duel. I use the blue for the Common Charity. I use the black sleeves for the master game. And uh, it just helps us keep everything organized. Um, it just is what it is. So we're going to open these real quick. And then we're going to let you go. And then we're going to go make some more content. So here's the first one. We're going to get a Volcanic Rocket. Destiny Hero Dasher. We're going to get a Rainbow Dragon. Different Dimension Warrior Lady. Book of Moon. Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, Sphere Kariba, and the Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. So real quick, I'm going to freeze frame and we're going to switch out with a mind shuffle. Hey guys, now it's my turn. So we're going to open up. So it looks like we got an Apprentice Magician first. Yep. Okay. Very apprentice cool. Apprentice Magician. Destiny Hero Dasher. Very good. Cyber and Dragon. Awesome. Floodgate Trap Hole. Excellent. Don's a log. Salug. <laughs> and that's awesome. Yay. Okay. Ancient Gear Golem. Arm Dragon Level 7. And a Shiny Polly. I kind of wish it was the other art, but you know what? I'll take Secret Rare Polymerization. That's not bad. That looks really cool. It's going to look great in the collection. <laughs> is that another Don's a Luke? Uh, it is. It's another one. Yay. Volcanic Doomfire. Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. Wing Karibo, Destiny Hero Plasma, Volcanic Rocket, Cyber Blader, woohoo, another, and another poly polymerization. <laughs> All right, so. very cool. Thank you for stopping by, Celestial. I've got a lot of stuff to sleeve. And thank every one of you guys for stopping by today, too. It made it real special that I could share this with you guys and show you guys what we pulled. Um, again, I got a lot of sleeving to do. We got to put these into the main uh, game inventory for our speed duel collection here and we will be able to make a lot more content moving forward so again if you guys want to uh you know support this channel 
go ahead hit the subscribe button if you guys have already done that you know you guys can turn on the notification bell that that is a thing here um this way you don't miss any episodes in the meantime but just keep coming back keep visiting we love it we love it um but most importantly even if you don't do any of those other things do me one favor go out there today you have a great day do something for yourself and enjoy it i'll see you later my friends later